Okay, here's the 2014 Level 2 algebra paper, and I'm going to work out question 1b from this one, which is either merit or excellence. I'm not sure. I'm pr pretty sure it's merit. So let's, let's check it out. Okay, so what it says is one root of the equation, x squared plus mx plus 12 equals 0, with 3 times the other. Find the values of n. All right, well, let's, let's work this one out. Let's check it. Okay, so I rewrote the question here, and uh, a couple of hints here. First of all, it says find the values of m, so we know there's going to be two values of m here, two possible values. And uh, just a reminder of what roots are in an equation. Um, if we have a factorized quadratic, um, x minus 6 times x plus 3 equals 0, um, then 6 and negative 3 uh, represent the roots of the equation. Okay, sometimes we call them the solutions. Um, so let's take a look at this. If, if one value is 3 times the other, uh, that means it's going to look something like, um, let's just call that value a. I don't know what it is yet. Um, that's going to be uh, 3a. Okay, that th those can be n's or whatever. It doesn't matter. But that's the setup of this equation right here so far. Now, I, I know it doesn't look like this equation here, but I'm just saying <coughs> if, if one root is 3 times the other, that's what the equation looks like. Now what we're going to do is I want to make this equation kind of look like this equation, which means uh, take away the brackets. So I'm going to expand here. Okay, And when I expand there, I get um, x squared uh, plus 3ax on the outside plus ax on the inside plus 3a squared on the outside equals 0. Collect those guys, and I get x squared plus 4ax plus 3a squared equals 0. Okay, so I've just expanded uh, that part right there, and, and that looks nothing like that one. I realize it. it kind of does. So I'm going to take this equation. I'm going to say this equation has to be equal to this equation. It's got to be the same thing. So I'm going to write this equation right below it, um, x squared plus mx plus 12 equals 0. Okay, now right here, um, first thing I'm going to do, I can't solve for m yet because I need to solve the value of a. So I know I'm going to solve for a because I know 3a squared has to be 12. All right, these are the same equations, they just look different. So I'm going to say, oh, okay, 3a squared has got to equal 12. So once I solve for a, I'll be able to plug a in there to solve for m. I'll get there in a minute. So, okay, let's solve for a here. a squared equals 12 divided by 3, so a squared equals 4. So a is going to equal <coughs> plus or minus the square root of 4, positive or negative 2, positive or negative Okay, that's progress. Okay, well now you see why I'm going to find the values of m because a can e is going to equal two different numbers. So now what I'm going to do is substitute a into here and solve for m. Well, what do you mean? Well, I'm going to solve for m. Solve for m because 4a is the coefficient of x just like m is the coefficient of x. All right, so 4a must equal m. Okay, it's kind of <laughs> like that. So they're both the coefficient of x. So if a equals positive 2, if a equals positive 2, um, then m can equal 8. And if a equals negative 2, 4 times negative 2 equals m, then m can equal negative 8. Okay, so those are the two values of m that could satisfy this equation. Okay, so real quick, if you don't, if you don't believe me, if that, does, if that seems kind of weird, th you're done with the answer. You're done with the problem. That's finished. Let's just substitute m back in there and see if that makes sen sense. You can check, is one root three times the other? Um, okay, uh, well, so if I've got my equation there, <coughs> if m does equal positive 8, that's uh, x squared plus 8x plus 12 equals 0. Well, what are the roots there? Well, this, this factorizes 2x plus 6 times x plus 2 
equals 0. Uh, that means the roots to this equation are negative 6 or um, negative 2. That checks because negative 6 is 3 times negative 2. Well, what about negative 8? If, x squared, uh, if m equals negative 8, <coughs> you get this. And I think that checks too because this factorizes to x minus 6 times x minus 2 equals 0. And here my roots or solutions are 6 or 2. And of course, 6 is 3 times 2, and negative 6 is 3 times negative 2. Okay, so there you go. On to the next one.